Welcome back, I am Just a Zack, and today we are going to have a look into Evil, a Dark Souls meets Hotline Miami action roguelike game that you can also kind of play in co-op and also features uh, demons and miniguns, apparently. That, that's a thing. Usually I'm very wary of, because like as a general rule of thumb, like on Steam, when games like in their normal description refer to other games to promote themselves, to market themselves, usually not that good, gotta admit. Like you can be very sure that that doesn't quite work. But this game looks very interesting, not gonna lie. So we're gonna check it out and I, hopefully we're gonna have a good time. One thing though, if you decide to check out this demo prologue version for yourself, link is as always down below. Um, turn down your volume or turn it off because when I booted up this game the audio was all the way up and literally just like my ears are bleeding right now from like f f a few seconds ago when I booted up the game that is unsurprisingly and unpleasantly loud so please keep that in mind a little bit of like a warning there other than that we have some basic settings for demo it's all right let's start the prologue and see what into evil is about shall we I have no idea what awaits us. I'm, I'm positively excited. Under a fading moon, the tower of the wizard in Neurt was utterly destroyed. Shortly thereafter, dark forces emerged from its ruins and swept across the land. Entire towns now lie empty, their populations dead or taken dragged into the black pits beneath the tower maybe death and desolation are everywhere under the cover of storm one attempts to enter the tower seeking the rescue of another okay decent introduction please uh, have the text up there like skippable or so because people might not be able to read that in time there was one sentence i barely was able to read in time but the storm is covered a cleft in the greater outer wall a loud passage move around look at things oh ooh, whoa that that's a camera also i'm playing with the controller so we entered the tower whoa whoa man this might make me dizzy all right brittle worn eaten wood has been used to patch this hole tech i like the presentation so far like with a like Description very well done. Oh man, gotta get used to this camera. One late what? One lone laborer handles corpses. Do not let them raise the alarm. Hutcha! Got you from behind. Okay, you handle the corpses. Oh no, that doesn't look nice at all here. Interesting. Oh, there's two this time. Is that a good thing? Is that a bad thing? Probably a bad thing. Hi! Ooh, huh. Okay, this guy needed two hits. Maybe because we attacked him from before. There we go. Two hits. All right. So far, gameplay. Really got to get used to the camera. But gameplay so far feels very smooth. We have two ways to go. Bottom. Try to open the gate. Locked by some contraption. All right. Classic souls like. We got a... That's the shotgun. A rusty gate bars the way. Its lock looks broken and only a simple latch holds it shut. Open. Oh, that worked. Okay, um, I mean, we got a test red, right? Oh, yeah, okay, don't go. Ow! Ah, <laughs> like this. Okay, don't walk into the bonfire. It hurts you. I said, how did... Oh, here's a shield! Ha! Huh. Okay. Huh. Oh, oh, God! What? Kettlehead. The guard dropped the helmet and shield. Equip them for extra protection. Pick up items. Hold uh, to block with a shield to shield bash. Okay. Wooden shield. Knock foes away by bashing with his shield. So L if you block. Okay. Okay, I automatically have it. Shield bash. And block. Can we also block and shield bash? Kinda. Okay, also we have a neat helmet. Nice. Open. Hello? That looks dark here. A small shed uh, sits here. Best check it for supplies. Healing potions. Capable of mending even grievous wounds. Uh, pick up items, hold A to show status and in inventory. Uh, to use carried item. To show status and in inventory. Oh, like this? Is there more? Ooh. Interesting. Also, do we have. Is that at the top, like our visibility? Okay, I can switch my main weapon and my shield. Potion of healing. There we go. And I guess we have like one armor or break armor because of our helmet, right? Okay, select also kind of works. We have resume. 
equipment? Is that this? Oh, no, this is slightly different, actually. So I guess, like, holding A is like a quick menu. And this is the... Oh, runes. This is the main menu. Seek Vitara to gain power. What scars mark of thy soul? How hast thou channeled thy fire? Invocations. What magics can thou unleash? Ooh, active effects. What effects thee? What charms dost thou sustain? Well, my charm is unlimited. Let's head to select different carry items. Well, we have only different healing potions right now, but... Thanks. An unaware god. Sneak up and take them out quietly. To move quietly, stealth is broken by most actions. Again to resume sneaking. Aha! Attacking force in the back deals critical damage. Hurtchuck! <laughs> and also we gain some gold. Nice. Okay, can, we can sneak, block, attack. Gotta try to learn this. Oh no, that's a light source. Okay. A prior blocks this narrow passage. But perhaps you can leap through unscathed. Be to dodge. With proper time you can dodge through danger unharmed. Aha! Look at that. Hwah! Should have tried that earlier. Another healing potion. Nice. We have stamina too. What is going on? A slope of slick mud causes you to slide backwards. Run at full speed to climb beyond it. Hold B to sprint. Sometimes running is a better option. This is... Okay. There we go. Okay, cool. I like this so far. Oh, go! Ow! Whoa! Oh, no. Oh! Okay. So much for the... Oh, no! Freaking slope. This is not great. I'm gonna enjoy this. No, you don't. Oh, tricky bastard. Okay, let... Oh, no. Freaking... Oh, no. This slope. Oh, no, they're coming! Oh! Ow! Okay. Shit. <laughs> well, how dare you say that? He's right around maybe that way. You kind of lost... A okay, we gotta dodge. Ow! Oh, great. I think I got him. Oh, God. Um, how do I use the item? Potion of healing. Go. Okay. Oh, no. Oh! I'm right here. Oh no, this is not nice at all. Oh, come on, oh, I'm burning again. This stupid fire. Again. Okay, it's so hard to, for me at least, to understand where the fire goes. Was there something I could pick up? Oh, there, arrows. Right in the fire. Okay, okay, that was not nice at all. Let me repeat that. That was not nice at all. Wow. Oh, barrels! Yes, arrows. We can actually destroy them. Cool. Okay, we don't have a bow yet, but we have a bunch of arrows. The camera is actually making me slightly dizzy, not gonna lie. Is there anything that allows us to infect the camera movement? No. Graphics? Probably not. Gameplay? No, that would be nice for the full game. As someone who is very suspicable to motion sickness, that is a little bit too much. Death comes swiftly for the careless. Avoid it. Be to dodge or to block with shield. And well... The careless. What do you mean with that? Oh, I see. How oh, about we just no? Is this not a trap? Battle axe, two slashing. Unleash a great swing to cleave through many foes. Someone has dropped a hefty axe. Axes are good at cleaving through groups of enemies. To talk a right hand slot, a killer left. Stowed held item in the right hand. Okay, we have a sword, we have the axe. Ooh, that's cool, like a three-hit combo. And this is a poke. Can we see the stats? Uh, wait, where's my inventory again? There. What? Carrot item worn. Drop. Carrot items, arrows. Where and how can I now check this? There. Two slashing, parry an enemy's blow, knocking them away. Wait, what? How, how do I parry? I need a great swing to cleave. Oh, so if I hit at the same time with my sword, that's a parry? Maybe? Huh. The game didn't teach us that yet. Interesting. Two enemies right there. We would like to try to get to the guy with the shield first, if possible. Can we sneak, I wonder? Oh. I can't. Oh, come on. This is unfair. I wanted to read the tutorial message and then the enemy saw us. Okay. Oh, he has a swing as well. There we go. Come on. Huh. There we go. Just gotta spam the button slightly more. What? A crumbled up pamphlet sits in the mud. To select different. Oh, come on. Let me read the tutorial, please. There we go. All right. Anyone else? Can I? Can I do? this now? Thank you. 
Pamphlet. Okay. Oh man, the camera actually makes me dizzy again. Mysterious pamphlet. Oh wait, I gotta hold the button then. Subjects of notable quality are to be directed further below, without excessive damage. Uh, okay. So maybe that means we could have. Ooh, snuck past crossbow. Enables pricing a precise aiming. Fires arrows. Someone's left behind a crossbow. Crossbows can hit foes far away but require ammo. Okay. This is a left-hand item. Interesting. So the question is, we have arrows, but we don't have crossbow bolts. Right? Standard issue arrows, crafted for soldiers and royal huntsmen. Plus two piercing. Sturdy with a high chance of remaining intact after being fired. Cool. Doesn't tell me if I can use it with a shotgun. Um, <laughs> with a shotgun. Well, there's many guns in the game, so... Okay, I think I just loaded in an arrow. Okay, seems like to work. Can I now switch? And the arrow is still loaded. Nice. Can I sneak past here? I can. Cool. Alright. What is this? Potion of health? Nice. Oh god, this camera. Oh man, it makes me so dizzy. Be careful. Many guards are around and they show no mercy. You get the sense you are close to a very dangerous area. Use everything you have learned to prevail. Death will reset your progress and you must try again. Oh no. Alright. That's what they mean with an action roguelike. The question is... What about the parry system that you haven't taught me as game? Okay, very dangerous area. Oh, there's one right here. Oh! Oh, he didn't notice. Cool. Snick! Are you kidding me? You weren't locked on to the guy! Wow! Alright, still one summer. Oh god! Oh! Okay. You stay right there. Come on, come around the corner and see what happens. And like, kind of like that, like with the dialogue, that you can kind of see where they are. I'm about to run at him, and then... Oh, come on! You shoot way too fast! Wanted to surprise you. Well, you kind of knew I was around the corner, I suppose. Maybe I should sneak? I have no idea. What's better? Sneaking? Oh, another health potion. Nice. Gimme, gimme. Oh, I... Well, drank one of the other ones. That's fine. It was kind of a waste. I didn't... I pressed the wrong button there. Okay, can I want to... Tr no, I wanna, don't want to try the shotgun against this guy yet. I hear weird monster noises. That does make me slightly afraid. Alright. Got you from behind. Awesome. Got you from behind as well. Double awesome. These sounds make me, uh, sounds make me very anxious, not gonna lie. Is there anything here I might have missed? Not yet. Hmm. Let's gotta just double check everything, right? Gotta sneak past. Can't turn out these fires. This does not look nice at all. Okay, if we... That's also good to know. When I block, I also leave stealth. Why is this so freaking dark? Wow. I don't trust any of this. Can I sneak around here? No, I cannot. Hey, really? The way ahead is dark, heavily shadowed by the looming inner wall. Thankfully, a still lit lantern sits in the muck here. Many places are exceedingly dark. Be sure to carry a source of light with you. He right hand slot or left hand slot? Hold left, right to drop swap a held item with one on the ground. Mm hmm. Lantern. Can be lit and unlit on command. Knocks foes away by bashing with their shield. Knock foes away by bashing with your shield? Blocks attacks. Lantern. Oh, I lose those. Okay. It's a comparison. Got it. I. Are we sure the lantern is turned on now? I have this. If I switch my items, there's this weird effect, but it really does not. Oh, I need to. Okay. Of course, I need to hold it. Yeah. Okay. Got it. Can I sneak while holding the I cannot. Great! Mm-hmm. You can hold up to four items at any given time. Be sure to stay equipped. Uh, thank you for that. Could I actually switch... Maybe I could hold my crossbow on the other hand. I want to try this real quick before we go into the darkness. Pretty sure there's nothing evil there at all. So if I hold this button... I just... Oh, okay, threw it on the ground. So it seems like the game does not allow us, or I, maybe I'm missing it right now, to... Uh, dis oh, yeah. One shield. Don't wonder. Are you kidding me? I have to throw away my shield? Ah, yeah, whatever. 
Okay, I can only hold so many items after all. Good to know. Good to know. So what I'm trying to say is it seems like we can't hold like a lantern on the right hand, for example, and the crossbow on the left or something like that. It's always like a left. This is a left hand item. This is right hand item, so to speak. I seem to have like a... Now, looking at the quick slot menu, what distracts me here is like on the item that is not selected, there's this weird bar, green bar, which would tell me that this means ammo or light, like fuel capacity for the lamp. But apparently that's not right, because both have it. I mean, the crossbow has ammo, the lantern has fuel. Maybe? I don't know. This distracts me. That's not clear to me as a player. That's set. I don't see anything. I do not like this. I do not like this darkness. Together with this camera, Every held item has two moves, remember that. To survive, you must use every tool to its fullest. Okay, that's turning it off. Well... And you're gonna throw at me, game. Nothing in that corner, Not nothing yet. Potion of health with this arrow. So if I... I would actually switch it out. Well, we don't need this pamphlet, right? Um, how do I switch? There we go. Okay, let's keep the arrows for now. Okay, so much for this light so far, at least. Maybe let's go with the crossbow. Pebble. Throw at enemies to briefly stagger them, or at wall to make a distracting sound. Interesting. Oh, there's people in cages. That's a bunch of pebbles. What if I just take the pebble? Great. So much for the pebble. Um, oh, it's a... Okay, it's an item like this, so... I'm gonna throw it like this, pick up the potion. We threw the pebble, nothing happened. Okay, guys. Hello. Rusted cages hold shivering townsfolk. They watch you with pleading eyes. Not everyone is an enemy, and some enemies will fight amongst uh, themselves. Free these townsfolks and they will help you as best as they can. Oh, that's nice. All right, come on. Get out of here. How are we doing? There we go. Welcome. Oh, who... How did you guys end up in cages with the weapons? You must not be very good at what you do. Oh, man. Well, I'll take whatever I can, right? Okay, let's go. Oh, there's another arrow. There we go. I can pick it back up. Okay, there's an arrow guy there. There's a... Uh, okay, I think we're gonna go in, and I'm gonna try to shoot this guy there. It's gonna fail. Oh, it worked! Huh. Well... Okay, burning. I... Okay, can I hit the townsfolk? I don't know. I think we got the guy, though. That's pretty cool. Oh, spear! Wait, what else do I have on the right? I don't think I want the short sword anymore. I want this- OH GOD! Oh, oh, this stupid fire. Oh, it was this guy, not me, that got hit. Never mind. Never mind. Okay, we're gonna switch this out. The spear sounds pretty good because of range, right? Okay, I think this is the beginning, right? The door opens. Yeah, this is where we started. There's another shield here, if I choose to take this. I mean, I, that's the thing, right? I don't know if I need to. I'd rather try to dodge, maybe? Gotta keep in mind that I do have... Okay, come on, guys. We're here now. We have three healing potions. I have, like, 14 arrows. There's another lever here and a bunch of loot. Oh, hello. Oh, I reloaded! Okay, it's fine. Okay, I cannot... That's actually good to know. I cannot hit my friends. Very good to know. Chest. Ooh, seal grease with this leather boots. You shove foes away while running. Your footsteps are weighty and loud. Oh, there. Some armor. This gear has been uh, seen better days, but it should still help keep you alive. Aid to don equipment. Equipment that was already worn will be dropped in its place. Armor can reduce damage and heavy armor cause blows to bounce off you. Ooh, if you wish to rely on armor to protect you, wear a lot of it. Steel gauntlet. Okay, it seems like energy recovery is slightly slower then. What do we have here? Plate armor. Versus, uh, versus passion scar. Weak blows that strike you will rebound. Heavy making dodging harder. Oh, great. Where's energy? Oh, yeah, that takes longer. And the dodge seems to be slower as well. What is this? Steel grace with this leather boots. You shove away foes while running. Your footsteps are weighty. Little bit more poison stuff, though, but energy's even worse. I don't know, should I tr track this? I mean, dodge is still okay. 
I have a feeling maybe there's a boss fight coming up here, so it kind of looks like a big open area. We have some friends and we get equipment. You know, maybe, maybe I'm wrong. Okay, we have a spear, we have a crossbow. The door opens, let's go, guys. Gonna run away, the crossbow is loaded, that's important. I'm gonna go a lot of stabby stabby. Can't block, I have the lantern. Maybe it's better if I actually take the shield instead. Screw the lantern. We might need this. Maybe it's not even a boss fight, but I just want to be prepared. Let's go. Now that that looks like a boss fight to me. Maybe? Hello? We have four friends. My name is Zack. I'm pretty awesome. An ominous gate stands before you. You sense that a terrible foe lies ahead. Prepare yourself, then open the gate. Aha, uh -huh, that's very nice of the game. Can we go down here? No, we cannot. Not yet, at least. Fair enough. That's very nice of the game to just straight up tell you. Okay, another chest. Potion of health. Another chest. Arrows. Okay. Oh, no. I don't want to have that many arrows. So, with 20 arrows, 3 potion of health, that has to work out, right? Oh, no. I'm gonna regret this. I wonder if I should have taken some pebbles. Maybe that stuns the boss. I don't know. Let's go. Oh, okay. Cutscene. Halt! Oh, up there. <laughs> this gate is sealed by King's Command. Oh, that is so cool. Look at this guy. Big lance. Man pierced by... That's a lot of arrows. Dude, and you're still standing. And though my duty may have failed my brothers, my vows still hold. Crossbow. Oh, okay. Oh! Reload. Shoot him. Oh, my, are my guys already all dead? I think so. Oh, oh! Okay, crossbow power! Where are you? Come on, I have all the crossbow bolts in the world. Oh! Oh, oh I barely dodged! It seems like most of his attacks, the king's will, will is absolute. Okay, what is that? Reload. There we go. Oh! Oh, oh God! Oh, stamina! Reload the crossbow! Get him! Ha! 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 Ow! Drink the potion. Oh, you're shooting now! Yeah. Okay, I see. Yeah. Got him with my spear. Come on, reload! Nope, that was bad. Broken. Get him. The crossbow's pretty good so far. Accept this mercy. A goodly death. Better this than the horror below. I don't know. Ha! Ha! Dodge! Mm. Pick this up! Shoot him! Am I shooting? I don't know! There's too much happening! Dude, shoot! Ha! Do you reload your crossbow? Please be- oh. Okay, we're still somehow alive. Ha! Ha! Whoa, look at my dodge moves! Just rely on the crossbow. Shoot him! Yes, we got him! First try. Night Luzair. Well, Townsfolk is all dead. Not that we care that much, but that happened. Well, we can't go back. I want the healing potion. Dang, that was cool. All right, give me uh, give me all the stuff back, please. All my arrows, thank you very much. We didn't have that many left, huh? I always think I pick up two arrows, but it's just a single one that does two damage. Okay. I think I kind of took like the cheesy way with this boss, not gonna lie, because I relied on crossbow. I feel like melee would have been a little bit harder, but you know, the game kind of straight up told us that we uh, should use all the resources we have. I, I kind of also like the idea that like on a like visual level, the game also gave us the, essentially a hint that we maybe should use the crossbow against this guy, because he was pierced with arrows before, right? I wonder if this is an intentional de uh, design choice. Like, okay, this character already has a bunch of arrows, so maybe you should try using arrows as well. Something like that. I don't know. Maybe I'm reading in too much into this. The long tunnel stretches down, deep into the earth. Rivulets of rainwater run underfoot as the, de uh, as the descent is made. You have made it this far, to the ruins beneath the tower. There's no going back. All right. That was the pro- and now we can dis- All right, let's descend, adventurer. Traveler, a traveler ready for anything. Simple gear, but has health potions. Carries a torch. To select. Wait. I can select my color, maybe. Let's go with purple. Sure. 
guess this is where you can also go multiplayer again if you want to. Adventure ready. Not connected. Examine statue. All right. Forgive us, traveler. This keep has fallen to ruination. Its lawful master lost, and now villains usurp his place. Master? My master is that renowned Magus, Lord Nyrt the Blue. We heard that before. He's the rightful castellan of these grounds, as appointed by his majesty, the king. What happened to him? He was slain by foul villains. They took his corpse below, and now pollute the ha these halls with vile misdeeds. Villains? Two moons ago, brigands seized this keep and descended into the depth beneath thee. They defy the king's law, and have turned this tower to their own ends. Traitors all. And to think, many were once heroes of this land. Their leader is the worst of all, a powerful Archmagus, Malixarus. It was he who felled my master. What does she mean that apparently the brigands that attacked this castle used to be heroes? That seems important. What does that mean? Malixarus? A wizard of great and terrible reputation. 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 <laughs> oh, well, welcome here on Justice Act where you get the best pronunciation possible. The leader of the traitors uh, who seized this tower. It was he who slay my lord Newt in a mighty duel that toppled this keep's upper levels. Despicable man. He was once an honored guest here and enjoyed the king's favor. Now he labors far below us, summoning demons and worse. Is that true? Also, she just mentioned a duel. So maybe it was like an honorable duel. I don't know. Demons? Though to you I may seem a simple statue, my spirit suffuses this tower. Its foundations are my bones. It haunts my veins. Even now, I sense much of what happens in its myriad chambers. The traitors who usurped this place have summoned terrible monstrosities to aid them. And day and night they labor to increase their number. The floors below are filled with nightmares. Right, just like uh, out of curiosity, you know, like on a professional, like informational basis. How do they increase their numbers? What's the exact process for that? Uh, who are you? Long ago, when the last stones of this tower were placed, I was granted both life and purpose. I am bound to serve the appointed lord of this keep in all things. My last master, the Lord Nyrt, named me Mar Maria. Thou may use that moniker as well, if it is thy wish. Master? Okay, we heard about that. Yep. Uh, what is this place? For centuries, this tower has stood tall. A mystic sanctuary granted by the king to his most trusted arcanists. They were trusted by him to advance magical knowledge, protecting this land and leading to great prosperity. Prosperity. Why is him in uppercase? Is that him the king? That seems to be important as well. Intentional. I faithfully served six such castellans until my most recent master was slain by villainous traitors. You keep repeating that. I wonder if that's really true. Well, I gotta go down. Though must, truly, very well. The doors ahead I have kept shut. Shunt, as a small act of defiance. But this is a rebellion for better. Lo, the passage ahead is now locked to thee. You may now dis... Ah. Uh, it's kind of... I, I wasn't really able to read what was up there in the pop-up uh, on the top because I read the text from the character I was talking to. I think it just said we can now go down. I don't know. I shall hasten thy path and aid thy descent where I can. In return... I beg of thee, slay all things encountered in thy descent. Go, let no traitor live, and break death to the abominations below. But the game also taught us that not everyone is an enemy. She just told us outright to kill everyone. Is that intentional? I don't, I don't think we can trust her that much. What if you just get out of here? No, we can't, dang it. And this is freaking dark down here. All right. I'm, but I gotta admit, so far, I'm definitely impressed. This is cool, let's go down. What could possibly go wrong? What's our reason? We are, we are looking for someone down here? I think that's the entire reason. Who are we looking for? Ooh, that's cool. Alright, hello, I have a sword. This looks so cool. What is that? Looks less like a trap and more like someone hanging. Hello? Oh no, you are an enemy. Oh, that's freaking creepy! Okay. What is that dark energy here? Huh. No one knows. Can I hit this? No. Huh. 
I don't trust that. I don't trust that at all. Oh, there's another one. Oh, that's honestly creepy. Oh, there's something here. Push loose stone. Aha, stone book moved. There's also something to the left. Was it here? Did we put up these barricades now? Maybe? What happened? That is what might have happened. Remove torch. Alright, so we can have only so many torches. Pebble. Give me potion of health. Nice. Oh god, camera again. Barrel. Oh man. Oh no, upgrade. I'm gonna dodge through. Okay, you cannot dodge through enemies. Good to know. There's no invincibility frames. You just dodge away. Maybe there is, but you can't go into people. Peasant's garb. Firebot. Ooh, with a potion of health. Oh, is my inventory full? We have so many pebbles. There's another one. Pebble! <laughs> okay. Can you I want that potion? A fire pot? Ooh, that sounds pretty cool. There's more. Okay, we're gonna select the pebble. I have a feeling we gotta be careful with this anyway. Is this some examine directions? Eat the well. This path shall lead thee below. So like top right. Mm-hmm. Oh, there's like three guys. Uh, that didn't do much. Oh, burn, yes! What is that switching be between all these guys? Stealth. Your foes are not expecting you. With stealth, you can surprise or avoid enemies. Enemies can notice you in two ways. That they can see you or hear the sounds you make. Most enemies require light to see. While stealth, the eye I can above your character shows how easily human foes can spot you. Okay, kind of taught me that about as well before. I mean, extra damage if you get people from behind. Why is this again the... Vitae Sparks. You have consumed a Vitae Spark. In this place, creatures sometimes release their vital essence on death. This commonly takes the form of glowing red orbs. Consume these orbs to recover lost vitality. So what this Vitality is health? Maybe? I want this fire pot, please. Oh, I almost drank another potion. Right, so I I don't know where to go. We have to go somewhere, right? Well, maybe this dark hallway that could possibly go wrong, right? I don't trust any of this. And that looks like a trap here in front of us, by the way. Do you guys see that? I don't want to switch to the fire, but maybe the pebble this year. No? That totally looks like a trap. Maybe it's not. Oh? This looks like a thing I can pull, no? Oh god, the camera is making me dizzy again. The door opens. Okay. Can't walk into this. The door opened to where, though? Oh, I don't like any of this. Carrying light. You are sneaking while holding a source of light. While sneaking still causes you to have quite a footsteps, holding a light makes you painfully easy to spot. Snuff it out or slow down. Okay, fair enough. Nothing to grab. Doesn't seem to be anything here yet. Check this out. I don't like anything here. Oh, <gasps> what the hell are you? Uh, um, no thanks. Fire pot! Burn! Got you. Okay. It, it didn't even make a sound, it just came at us. Mm-hmm. A giant... Hit it. No? Okay, not a mimic. Travis backpack. Allows you to carry more items. Cool. Appreciate it. And also we have the backpack visible on us. That's very cool. Love that. Mm-hmm. The game kind of wants us to go to the left. Do you notice me? You do, but you can't open it. There's also a giant trap there. Should I go in there or not? I mean, it's just one enemy so far. Is there anything else in that room, I wonder? Ah, come on. Open. Come on. I see you. You see me. It's fine. There's another one. Come on. Right into the trap with you. Are you kidding me? That should have worked. Come on. I'm, re I'm here. Come, come. Ah. Yes! Haha! <laughs> right into the trap. That is. Oh, can we block it with a stone? 
This something something happened then? This is so stupid. Oh come on. No, ah, oh, that would be so cool if we could somehow block this with a stone for some reason. Bunch of pebbles, I'll take everything I can get. So, question, why the hell am I in this room in the first place? Oh, we can actually move the corpse here, that's cool. Huh. Honestly, a bit sad that we couldn't block this with a... with a thingy, you know? Stone. Aha. Uh -huh. Stu's hallway. Let's maybe clear this big room here first, to really make sure I'm a bit safer. For example, there's this guy right here. Sound. Be careful with the sounds you make while sneaking. Your footsteps make noises based on what you step in and the boots you wear. And striking walls is a surefire way to draw attention. We could actually use that to our advantage. Those skilled in infiltration may find way to use sound to their advantage as a distraction. Oh, the game just tells us. There we go. Vitae. Okay, I can't pick this up because my Vitae is full, I suppose. Does that mean, like, we are corrupted in a way as well, as I see that on the right side? That we can pick up this dark energy? Does that have a story reason? Just want to check this real quick. Okay, we have safe here. Mm-hmm. <laughs> From behind. Oh, okay, that's fine. I have pebbles. Pebble! Okay. Pebble! Huh. Oh, God! Oh, this camera really is not... I don't like this camera. Yeah, great. This is not... Oh, are you kidding me? Drink, you fool! Critical blows. Yeah, great. I can't read this. I have a little bit of trouble right now. Thank you. Okay, maybe into the fire. Are you smart enough for that? You are. That makes me sad. Walk into the fire, dude. Yes, attack into... Oh, <laughs> you fool. They don't walk into it, but they attack into it. You suffered a critical blow. Being struck from behind or while in a vulnerable state, such as being knocked around, causes a particular vicious strike. Critical strikes deal double damage and cause foes to stagger more severely. You can tell when a critical blow has landed by the red flash. Oh, thanks for that. A little bit of coin. Key. Keys. You have found a, sim a small iron key. What could it possibly unlock? Well, I would say a lock, right? More gold. What's my inventory like? Okay. The Vitia. The Vitia is here. Did I... Am I now at full life? Guess so, because nothing else indicates. Whip can yank enemies closer. Ooh, that would be cool at the fire. Wait, where's, where's the whip? Oh, they're here. Whoosh! <laughs> da 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 well, um, that is the torture man. Oh man, the camera, seriously, it really triggers my motion sickness. Oh man. It's just a little bit too janky. Oh. I like playing this so far. Look, oh, look, there's water here. Also makes footsteps. Cool. I really like playing this so far, but the camera really is making me, like, giving me a headache. Uh-huh. See you. <laughs> oh, I hit these guys! Damage negated. Come on, attack into the fire! Yes! <laughs> Yank him! Oh, yes! Cool. Ooh, another key. We have two keys. Heater shield. Wizard's whip. Does not deal damage. Uh, less crushing. No, I want the whip. The whip is pretty cool. Don't have that much use for the uh, torch yet. Name it a charging attack. Blocks attack. Let's switch this out. And this is the, like the charging attack. Okay, but we do have a shield. Uh, let's maybe have the shield first and block and then... What was that sound? I did not. Did not like that. Oh, it's freaking dark here, though. I don't know. Is this good or bad? I mean, this kind of hides us, right, in a way. So maybe we could have snuck past this guy. More torches. I mean, I have a whip. Okay, there's a guy there. I have a feeling there's more than just this guy, though. Let's be... Oh, God. Mm-hmm. Giant treasure chest. Giant room. Let's try to get this guy first from behind. I'm not sure if we got him from behind, but we got him. What the hell is that thing on the left? Is that an enemy? What is that on the corpses there? There's one enemy at the top right. Let's go sneak mode again. There's one at the top left who is like a... Like, do you see this? Like hot iron? Awesome. Alright, the question is, you know... How about I hit this wall and see if enemy reacts to that? No, not these guys yet. 
Is it, the question is, is it just this one other guy or is there more here? Move torch. Oh, there's one at that very top as well. Damn. Oh, that person speaks. Okay, I want this guy for... Oh, there's two. Okay, the small fry first worked. There's one at the very top. He who might or might not have a crossbow. I think this is an enemy. No, that's a corpse. Okay, get this first. Staff of Tempestry. Or the Cetus Shield. Imbued with the power to cast a thunderstorm. Invoking this magic conjures a storm that causes periodic lightning strikes that inflict lightning. Shocks foes with lightning when charged. Does not harm the caster. Follows the caster's gaze. Dedicates Vigor 2. Whatever that means. That's pretty, that's pretty cool. Can I use it against this guy first? He's looking right. At, got any dice? Who's he talking to? Okay, we're looking. I don't know. Let's. Oh, great. What's your most favorite? I do not know how to use the staff. Because if I use it here. Okay, that's apparently not. Oh, Lord below, I'm starving. Better than them than us, I guess. This, behold. The storm! Oh, yes! Okay, time to die for you! Okay, well, not quite as intended. Okay, we got him anyway. That was so cool. And we can move it now. Because I charged it up. Disp uh, dispellable facts. Uh, let's, uh, you have been gra graced by a charm that can be dispelled at will. Many forces can act upon you. F flames may burn. Frost may chill. But magical effects are far more varied and unpredictable. Beneficial effects can be seized. Dispel them at your leisure for good or ill. Baneful effects cannot. You can see details for all active effects upon you in the character menu. But I, I mean, I got the spell. I don't know what just really happened. That was pretty cool regardless, I guess. Okay, we know there's one more top right, but I guess we want to talk to this one first. Oh, wait, you are an enemy? Oh, great. Not ready yet? Motherfucker, <laughs> are you kidding me? Oh, great. Oh, God! Whip power! I love this whip. Go, my whip. Whip them! Yes, you like that, right? You like it! Lots is on our side. Well, oh, there's more coming. Of course there is. But the whip, the whip is so cool so far. The lords cannot be resisted. I'm just gonna whip you. You look positively scrumptious and more meat. You guys are freaking scary, not gonna lie. I'm just gonna whip you from the distance. I'm not gonna get close to you guys. Okay, so there was an enemy on the throne. I guess I could have figured. I actually, because he, he talked before, right? Like, not in that much of a menacing area and I couldn't really make him out on the throne so I actually thought legitimately that that was an NPC. I was wrong and he didn't even drop anything and we can't sit down on, is that even supposed to be no this is not the throne, this is a slope that's why they slope down the corpses. Man I like the whip the, casting whip so far is the best spell. Yes, thunder clouds pretty cool, not gonna lie clouds, is, uh, the whip is even better. I would like to cast whip aha what the hell is that? I have a feeling we can't go here, but we might check out where this is going to lead to in the future. This is a green guy. Oh! Do you see that on the right? What the hell is that? That's a big lady. That's a very big lady. And it's very hard to see as well. I guess we can get to her by this right side here. No, not this one. Pull lever, wait, treasure chest first. Scroll of Blizzard enables the casting of the spell Blizzard once. Invoking this magic conjures an area of swirling cold that inflicts bitterly chilled foes. When chart freezes foes in ice, does not harm the caster. The size of the effect is... So we always want to try to make sure that we charge up spells, because then they don't harm us. Otherwise they might. Arcane scroll, arcane scrolls. You have acquired an arcane scroll. Within this brittle parchment lies an imbued arcane spell. These precious scrolls allow the uninitiated to replicate the brilliance of a mage. Albeit, only once. Pebble, pebble. I also like to cast the pebble spell. The door opens. Oh no, which door though? Apparently not this one. Just want to make sure it's... Oh god. I have the whip. I, I really like the whip, guys. Just want to make sure is it th it's this door. Great, where the big lady is. Okay. <clears throat> I mean, luckily, we cleared a lot here, but the problem is, of course, we don't know if we cleared everything. Let's make sure of that. 
Treasure chest. Let's actually check this first. Remove torch. Looks like we're safe here. Reach into crevice. Well, that sounds like a great idea. Arrows. Hmm. I mean, we don't have anything to shoot it with this for now. Wooden shield? No. That's a bunch of gold. Reach into crevice! Yeah, what could possibly go wrong? Let's go. Oh. Money. Nice. So sometimes there's also s stuff hidden in the walls. Good to know. Man, I, I like the whip. Okay, gotta just check our inventory. We have the storm stuff. We, we, I would like to have a better main weapon, not gonna lie so far. But with the whip taking our distance, you know, we have the scroll of blizzard. But we want to keep that probably for the big lady. Okay, that's just some spikes. Okay, there is a guy there. And that is, what is that thing? Like a spinning, did he see us? No, he did not. These tricks will not save you. He noticed us, but he doesn't see us because we're standing right here. You know what? Whip him! <laughs> He's just dots. I kind of like it. But now you're dead. Treasure? Venom arrows. Ooh. Okay, I'm gonna switch these with the pebbles. We can't use them yet. You know what? I'm actually gonna throw a pebble in there. Oh, I broke that. Because I wanted to see if anything re or any one whatever wrecks to that. Doesn't seem so, though. So, looks like we're good to go. Is this something good? A glowing flame of multicolored light floats here. You feel its warmth and its pull. Well, let's go. Consume Vitaya. Ooh, Vitaya. You've consumed raw Vitaya. This fire that powers all life fills you, making you stronger, more powerful. Perhaps in this place, there's a way to channel that fire. A single Vitaya flame can be found each level. Consuming it will fully heal your wounds and cause you to level up. Aha. Leveling up permanently grants you either more vitality or more vigor. So more life or more stamina. You also gain a soul point that may be used to acquire an occult ability, but only if you find the proper tools. Occult ability. Oh, we're gonna get like corrupted down here, right? Okay, so the smartest thing right now would be to... How do I use it in the first place? Active effects. Don't have that. There. What scars mark thy soul? How? So the smartest thing would be to keep this. This is also kind of like a little bit like humanity in Dark Souls, where it also hears him. So, yeah, again, the smartest thing would be to just try to venture on a little bit further in. And when I take damage, I would use the Vertier because this is also free full heal, right? But I'm not sure, um, you know, I would do that if I would play privately. But who knows, maybe the next enemy is going to get us. And I want to show you guys the leveling up. So... Less optimal, but I want to show how this works. So how, how how do we use this? Pressing A is apparently not the right one. Invocations? No. Oh, there's our spells on the left side. Staff of Tempestry, Scroll of Blizzard. Interesting. Runes. There, Vigorous, plus two Vigor. That's the only thing I can select right now. Maybe it's that, A? There. Um... Is that just because I have it? Carried items. It's not an item. Equipment? It's not an equipment. Of course it's not. Resi huh? Pause? I thought I was supposed to use this now. Did I misunderstand? I thought I could use this and trade it in for health and level up, right? That is what the game told us. I'm sure of it. There it is. I can't select the plus two vigor there, vigorous, or maybe it's a, that's just a passive effect because we have it. But I, I'm not able to use this. Pressing all the buttons, huh. It causes you to heal up and level up? What? Huh? Game, you told me I can use- ah, uh, great. So, so much for that idea. I would have loved to level up, but for some reason, I can't. I feel like I did exactly what the game wanted me to. But apparently, apparently maybe not. So we could also just remove all these torches to maybe remove the light sources just a little bit. No, we're just gonna remove them for now. Oh, they actually get turned out after a while as well. So that has a bunch of potential as well. 
Okay, so we want to stealth. The idea would now be to try to charge our spell against that big lady. Assuming that that big lady is actually, you know, an enemy. I don't know. It's hard. She blends so much into the environment. There's two enemies right there. Okay. Uh, what about I throw a pebble up there and get this guy first halt. Okay, he notices me. I'm still not sure about big lady right now. Behold! The storm! Oh, he has a whip as well. Go Stomper. I think we got the guy. I like how we can literally just have the spell here. Oh, he can... Okay, he has a poison spell as well. Okay, I'm just gonna whip you, dude. We'll blaze brightly before the end. Well, mysterious pamphlet. Uh, dedicating your vigor. Certain effects can acquire dedicated fort to sustain. When focusing your vigor in this way, not all of it will be available to you. Some effects will last indefinitely, uh, unless dispelled. Be careful not to overcommit yourself. Your vigor is measured by the green bar that appears above your character. When vigor is dedicated towards sustaining an effect, the corresponding segment of the bar will be grayed out. That's when I cast my lightning spell, right? Because while it's active, it takes two bars, I think. So wait, we got a pamphlet as well. Oh man, this one just happening. Uh, read! What just happened? Now hold. It has come to my attention that some of you are reluctant to engage in your duties. That you find it purposeless and ex excessively cruel. The reason for our labor should have already been made clear. And my patience has run out. So an ultimatum. Either do your job or join the kettle. V. Have we learned when, who V is already? So the thing is, what about this big lady? I'm gonna throw a pebble at her. Ah, uh, I'm gonna throw a pebble at her now. Okay, throw a pebble at her. I'm very bad at throwing pebbles, if you couldn't tell. Uh, hello? Oh, that's a statue! There's a guy, by the way. Oh, that, okay, that's also why it blends into the vi environment. Makes sense, right? I want that pebble very much, thank you. So that's not an enemy yet. That's that's actually makes me happy, not gonna lie. Okay, we have a treasure chest there. There's an enemy there. Can we get to this treasure chest? Yes, we can. So this first. Tomb of the Thundering Storm with his whip. While kept in possession can grant a cold knowledge of Arcana. Wind blast a step of the wind. I mean, I like the whip, not gonna lie, so maybe we're gonna switch out like this. Tomes. This strange tome is bound in blood-stained leather, and the scribbled runes on its surface shift and sway before your eyes. Wizards usually, usually spend many years learning magic. But as you hold this book, it seems to promise you a swifter path to power. How might you unlock its secrets? Or is this where we need the vigor? Like uh, the... You know what I mean? Runes? A tie. I'm gonna use this! Equipment, so we need better armor as well. Tomb of the Thundering Storm. And in a cold tomb of arcane secrets, it seems to be promised a swift path to power, but at what cost? While Captain Possession can grant can grant occult knowledge of Arcana, wind blast, step of the wind. Okay. I have to have this in my possession. It can grant us this. So runes, invocations. I still don't get it. Am I supposed to use this? You know what? It's back to the stuff. This is... Sorry, this is a bit too unclear to me. This is just one enemy, I think, the best case to... But is it just one enemy? Let's actually get him from behind. Good old critical, beautiful. Is these some pebbles? I would love to have more pebbles. I'll take it. I'll take all the pebbles. Would love to get rid of the pamphlet. Actually, I think we can if I just hold it. No, A. Oh, there's... There's the one by Tay. I still don't know. I don't get it. I want to throw away the pamphlet, but I guess we need to trade it in for another item then. Okay, you're going to sneak along. There's a lever. That doesn't look nice. Maybe it's the way outside. There's another one of these guys. The question is, is that the only one? Maybe. Intruder! Okay. Oh, God, he got us. Great. Uh, water. Maybe this helps. Burning on fire, do not burn to death. Yeah, that's the plan. I'd rather whip someone else to death. Okay, thanks for that great highlight game. Thank you, much appreciated. I know there's a lever, but... No, are you an enemy? 
No, you're not. Okay, just want to make sure we cleared up everything. So we still have this thing. I still don't know how to use it. Pull the lever. The door opens. Only this one. We only have a single healing potion. We have a staff. We have a whip. I mean, what else can we do with them? Proceed, right? Open flame pattern door. Of course. Behold. Behold, or her heretics. Behold the glory of the new gods. Oh, great. Oh! Uh, can I charge my staff, please? Behold the power of the storm. Get him. Come on, get him with the storm. Get him with the storm. Can I take my distance? Need to drink my healing potion already. No, not yet. One more damage, maybe? Hard to tell. Charge. Oh, there's more flames. Great. Go. Oh, no! I used the frost spell in a bad way. I have pebbles. I'm gonna throw pebbles at you. Didn't expect that, right? Okay, I'm very bad with the pebbles. Charging Arcana. I ha don't have time for that. Sorry. Uh... Okay, whip him! And where's my whip? Whip him! Nice. Wait, storm power again. Not ready. Okay, got it. Whip him! Okay, that's the pull. I keep forgetting the pull, but the slashing is actually... Just the whip itself is pretty good. Whip! <laughs> well, the whip is so good! I've never played a game where, where I loved using a whip. This is... This makes this game already stand out in such a good way. And still the world burns. What just happened? What happened with the camera? Is he still there? Well, that's a big fire. Don't have the frost bar anymore. Is that him? Oh god! Let's just die. There we go. That was anticlimactic. You died. Struggling to dodge enemy attacks. Try using a shield. Up. Nope. I guess I'm gonna flee. Regardless, ladies and gentlemen, into evil. I went into this, you know, a little bit skeptical. Not gonna lie. I think I made that clear at the beginning. Uh, but interested nonetheless, and I'm pretty much like this is a double thumbs up Of course this still needs polish I would love to see the camera being optimized a little bit for people who have like you know intense motion sickness like me Because that was a little bit towards the end. It was actually fine You need to kind of like learn how to use the camera and a little bit more intentionally like in other games But that was still fine and frankly besides the bug at the end We didn't really encounter anything bad there as well this yeah double thumbs up this is a lot of fun. Please tell me what you think of the game and we see each other in the next video.